Are you ready? Hold on. Thank you. We're just New Jersey mushers. We run, we're no snow dogs, so, you know. Are you ready? Um, I just enjoy the dogs and uh, being out in the woods. Paul, it's a lot of work. It's a 24-7 hobby that you only can go out for for a few months of the year. Normally, if there's no snow, it's still, it's still cold, so we get some more hookups. But now that the temperature is the way it is, um, you don't want to run much past uh, 55 degrees because the dogs can overheat. I used to start training in September when I had my three dog team. Um, and as the temperature has, they say it's a climate change. It, sometimes it's too warm in October, then we're shooting for November. It's, it's been dicey this year, especially. They get exercised every day. They run around and they have a great big area to run around in. My husband calls them Patty's pets. Um, they're, uh, they're athletes. To me, they are. They're, they're my running dogs. <laughs> They eat uh, premium dog food. I'm not even going to tell you how much it cost. And uh, <laughs> veterinary care. Um, I couldn't even put a figure on it. I couldn't even hazard a guess. I don't even want to add it up. <laughs> I've been involved with Siberian Huskies for 35 years. Love the breed. They are part of the family. Each one's unique. They're uh, amazing dogs, uh, great personalities, good temperament. Um, they're not really for everybody because they are high energy. Um, they, they love to run, they need something to do because otherwise they could become a little destructive in your house. You can come home and find your cushions or your seat torn apart and, you know, but, and not because they're bad dogs, but, you know, it's just like a separation anxiety thing. And I always tell people, yeah, you really should have to.